in our daily devotional today, I will be speaking on God wants to settle you and give you rest. That is the will of God for your life. God wants to settle you and give you rest. And I believe by the mercy of the Most High God, you will surely enter into your inheritance and rest. I will be taking my scriptural reading today from the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. It's a popular text. Let's read the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. The Bible says, After you have suffered a little while, a God who is full of kindness through Christ will give you his eternal glory. He personally will come and pick you up and set you firmly in place and make you stronger than ever. I love this living Bible. Let me read it one more time. After you have suffered a little while, a God who is full of kindness through Christ will give you his eternal glory. He personally will come and pick you up and set you firmly in place and make you stronger than ever. I also love to read it from the KJV. Hear what the Bible says. But the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, stabilize, strengthen, say to you. Make you perfect, stabilize, strengthen, and say to you. God wants to say to you and give you rest. It is God's plan to say to you and make you what you ought to be in life. The reason is because God has the power to do it and He always wants to do that in your life. All that is needed is for you to agree and fully cooperate with Him. You see, at a point in life, we all go through a stage of struggle, a stage of suffering and distress. God knew about it and he has a plan to take us through all that and settle us in a place of abundance. Remember that the Israelites wandered in the wilderness for 40 years, but what day? 40 years of wandering ended and they entered into their inheritance. That is exactly what God wants to do with you. He wants to say to you and give you rest. You can see that throughout the Israel's journey in the wilderness, the ark of the Lord went ahead of them to lead them and to locate a suitable place of rest for them. The Bible made us to know this from the book of Numbers chapter 10, verse 33. Hear what the Bible says. So they set out from the mountain of the Lord and traveled for three days. The ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them during those three days to find them a place to rest. To find them a place to rest. It is always the desire of God to give his people a place of rest. It is always the desire of God to settle his people in life. Now, let's read from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 33. Hear what the Bible says. Who goes before you looking for the best places to camp? guiding you with a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day. The Bible says, Who goes before you looking for the best places to come? You see, it is God's plan to say to you and to give you rest in life. I want you to believe God. It is the will of God to say to you and to give you rest in life. You see, this is what I want you to know. If the Ark of the Covenant led the Israelites, the God of the Ark want to lead you now by the Holy Spirit. You see, He will direct your steps into your place of rest. He will establish you. He will comfort you. He will say to you, and He will give you the desire of your heart according to His word. Remember, He has said this in His word that the desire of the righteous shall be granted. I'm here to let you know today that for you to enjoy this leading of the Lord, you have to fully surrender to His will and be truly filled with the Holy Spirit. 
in your life. The will of God could be found in the word of God. Whatever he has written in his word is his will for your life. And he has positioned the Holy Spirit in this world to lead every one of his children into the rest. In the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 14, the Bible says, As many as are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. As many as are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. And the truth is, this Holy Spirit will lead you in line with the Word of God. Therefore, whenever you study the Word of God sincerely and pray with all your heart, you are giving the Holy Spirit the opportunity He needs to lead you into your rest. You see, today, just take some time to meditate in the Word of God and to really pray. And as you do, listen closely to the voice of the Holy Spirit and whatever He says to you, just do it and you will find true rest for your soul. My friend, God wants to set to you and give you rest. Let's talk to Him in our prayer. I would like to pray for you right now. He's our Father. He's the only one that can give you rest. Let's pray together. King Gitana, I worship your holy name. I give you praise and I give you thanks for your people that have listened to your word today. I want to thank you because you have a plan to settle them. Father Lord, I pray that you will settle them in a certain way and in a specific area of their life today. Lord, I'm praying and I'm asking that the Holy Spirit will speak clearly to your people today on the step that they are to take to enter into their rest. I give you praise and I give you thanks for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. My friend, thanks for listening to this message. I would like to read your comments. Do leave a comment below for me. Tell me about the impact of this message in your life. And God bless you for doing that. And I hope you've been tremendously blessed during this life-changing insight from God's word, during this devotional time. I would like to welcome you, if you are stopping by for the first time, welcome to this platform. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so already. And remember to share this message with your family, friends, and your loved ones. Welcome. If you want to be notified of our new uploads, click on the bell icon when you subscribe and please turn on all your notifications. Until I come your way next time, I'm Rindig Benro. I pray that the Lord will set to you and give you rest. Bye for now. Stay blessed.